Hey, MCE crew, let me start out by assuring you that no animals were harmed in the filming of this video. Now, why am I saying that? Because we're going to do uh, the equivalent of beating a dead horse here a little bit for some, but from a different perspective. What are we talking about today? We're talking about crime, okay? And we're talking about how crime in America today is stealing money out of your pocket, even if you haven't been hit upside the head, okay? How the situation in a lot of municipalities and a lot of uh, county cities throughout the country are the situation is devolving to the point where you got to really take a look at it and you got to ask yourself a serious question. Does my town respect me as a honest law abiding citizen who just wants to go about his or her way safely and, you know, provide for my family and achieve financial independence? Let me tell you something. These cities are getting so bad, and we're going to use one area in particular. It's going to be representative of a lot of other areas with the same ailments going on. These cities are getting so bad that they are threatening not only your, uh, let's say, your real estate, the value of your real estate, okay? They're threatening your number one asset. Let's go. Let's just jump right into it. So we talked about how... Uh, you know, we just mentioned how a crime-ridden area can really decrease the value of your real estate. That that may seem obvious because when that happens, people just don't want to live there. So the demand goes down. The other thing is you have to consider the impact that crime has on small businesses. Listen, there is a phenomenal restaurant in Baltimore City. There are a few. Uh, one in particular is called Tio Pepe's. They serve traditional traditional Spanish food. And man, I'm telling you, this is an experience. Uh, it is just excellent. Let me tell you what. I am not going to Tio Pepe. I'm not taking my wife to Tio Pepe because it's in the heart of the city. It's not that Baltimore City is not a place where just drug dealers and people in the you know criminal trade get killed. No, 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 no. Baltimore City, anybody can catch it. Okay. And I'm not trying to endanger my number one asset, my human body, or my wife's, okay? Just not taking that chance. Just like I'm not jumping on uh, penny stocks, okay, with, with, with other assets. I'm not investing in penny stocks. Um, I'm not taking my body down into Baltimore City. Now, a couple of things that are going on here that uh, really a change must occur, but it's not going to. We've got a state's attorney, and let me let me just, you know, uh, digress for a second. We've got a state's attorney, state's attorney Marilyn Mosby, Marilyn Mosby. She is under federal indictment, and I want to be clear, whenever somebody gets indicted, I'm always the guy that says innocent until proven guilty. The feds have got to prove that case, okay, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Uh, and if they can't do that, then state's attorney Mosby will walk away not guilty. And that's our system and that's the way it should go. Nonetheless, she is under indictment. Now, right now, as I tape this video, there have been 30 days in the year so far, 2022. There have been 34 murders in Baltimore City. This is a city of less than 600,000 people. Okay. It's losing population. And when you lose population, you uh, lose your tax base, okay? People don't come to visit your city as much because they're afraid of either, this is, this is my fear, my biggest fear is winding up in central booking, okay? Or shock trauma then, or the local cemetery. Because, you know, when, when you get into one of these situations, you react, and I don't, I'm a peaceful guy. I just want to, you know, enjoy my life. I don't want to be accosted. I don't want panhandlers asking me for money. I don't want any of that. Okay. And I certainly don't want to be uh, put in a situation that so many have been, have found themselves in, in Baltimore city of late. Okay. Where their lives have been taken. So cities are losing their tax bases. Nomad capitalism. This gentleman has a channel on YouTube and he talks about taking your money to where it's treated best, okay? So if you're like a citizen of certain countries, including the United States of America, 
where taxation is getting out of control, where, you know, the government doesn't seem very interested in its first obligation, which is protecting the citizen. The nomad capitalism, capitalism that channel, that gentleman talks about moving your, uh, you know, your assets, including yourself, to other countries where uh, those things are respected. And um, check his channel out. Now, look, as for me and the United States of America, I have said it before, and I'll say it again. Because I ain't going nowhere! Okay, but again, I do not begrudge anyone who makes a different choice. You got to live your life. But let's look at an alternative to picking up stakes, just moving out of the country. There are still many, many areas in the United States of America that are places that you can live and that your money is respected. Now, let's take a look at Baltimore in particular. I've referred to this site on multiple occasions, and I believe you need to go check it out, howmoneywalks.com. Now, as you can see, the areas that are red are states that uh, they're losing wealth, okay? States that are in green are gaining wealth. Now, let's not get into politics right now, but if you look at the states that are losing wealth, they have some uh, things in common with regard to uh, their politics. I'll let you figure that one out. Let's go to some territory that I'm intimately familiar with here. Now, look, we saw Maryland as being red, losing wealth. And why is that happening? Well, it's really happening because of four municipalities within the state. The four most populous municipalities within the state. Baltimore County, which is a separate division. Baltimore City, okay, two different uh, entities in terms of municipality, two different governments, two different police forces. Both share the fact that they're losing wealth. Then we have Montgomery County and Prince George's County. And let me tell you, as a resident of the state of Maryland, county might be listed as red on here or blue as they come. So let's drill down to Baltimore City. Now, as you can see, from a state perspective, uh, Maryland has lost 18.65, I'm sorry, $18.85 billion in adjusted gross, gross income uh, from 90, 1992 to 2019, okay? So that's a lot of money, $18.85 billion. And where are the people moving to, okay? Well, looky here. People are moving to Florida from Maryland, North Carolina, Virginia, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, okay? So, well, we saw Florida was green on that, and this is the top one where people are getting the hell out of Maryland and moving to Florida. One of the reasons why they're doing that is because Florida has a better tax uh, environment for retirees, right? If you're a retiree in Florida, you get treated a lot better than you do in the state of Maryland. So let's drill down again. Let's take a look at Baltimore City. Let me tell you also, Baltimore County, uh, as you can see, surrounds Baltimore City and its crime rate is growing. Baltimore City... Uh, county rather had a record number of murders uh, last year. Now, Baltimore City, you can see this kind of a real time ticker. In the past 14 seconds, $140 has just got up and walked out of Baltimore City. Uh, it's losing population. The last census confirmed that. Uh, the population dropped below 600,000, which basically means that the tax base is leaving. OK, and if you look at this state, look at this. Four little municipalities have turned the entire thing red. So four monkeys have spoiled the whole bunch Four rotten apples. Um, so that's what's going on here. Um, they are gaining money from Baltimore City is gaining money from, believe it or not, Prince George's Montgomery County and the District of Columbia, but you know, whatever. And people from New York are moving down. I guess anything's preferable to uh, to New York. Uh, it's basically a communist country at this point. Um, 
But that's how it shakes out. Okay, so go take a look at this site. And um, your money has to go where it is treated best. You're not, you're, you're striving toward financial independence. You're going to sit in Maryland or one of these other red states. Not They're not red politically. They're red because they're losing money. Okay. One of these other red states, you're going to sit there and watch your retirement be frittered away by high taxation and these politicians doing crazy things with your money. Of course not. So if you are in the market for a different state, then check out uh, howmoneywalks.com and uh, check out the green states. Green, color of money, okay? They are gaining wealth. And when they gain wealth, they gotta be doing something right. One of the things they're doing right is they're not being communist. <laughs> like these uh, red, red is an appropriate color for uh, a lot of these states. So go where your money is treated best. Make sure you do that. Otherwise, you're going to have a government take your money in the form of taxation, and they're going to waste it, okay? I've often said that these politicians, after they win the election, maybe after they win the primary, they need to demonstrate that they have taken a college-level macroeconomics course and have gotten a grade of at least a B, uh, and then they can go ahead and take their seat uh, and go down to the state legislature or to the city hall or to the U.S. Capitol and start writing laws that affect us financially. That's not going to happen. So in the meantime, check out HowMoneyWalks.com. Look at these places where your money is actually treated best. And, um, you know, you might want to consider relocating there. I'll talk to you soon. To learn more about how you can achieve financial independence, check out these videos we recently posted on the Money Changes Everything channel.